Hey there, this is Tokomotion and welcome to this quick introduction into my new character package for Reillusions Character Creator. This time I created some old uh, aged characters. So when you purchase the package from the marketplace or Reillusion content store and install it in uh, to your system, then you will find uh, some yeah, pre-prepared uh, projects in the in your, in your project template folders here on the cloth and then you have the token motion folder and the stylized males and females with the subfolders for male and females and here you see three different um, characters three females and three males and I created all these characters using the included morph sliders here and this time I separated the body and head morph sliders and you will find them in the actors tab um, on, the, on the body uh, so it's actors body took a motion and then you have the stylized males folder with the three body shapes and the stylized females folder with the three female body shapes and the same goes for the head so it's head and then took a motion and stylized males with the three head male or male hats and stylized females with the three head shapes here okay and yeah you can mix and match these sliders with each other and create your own very own unique character so for example Walter uh, I use the male old one body morph and the male old one head morph and voila here is Walter and yeah of course you can just mix and match the head shapes of, of the males with the head shapes of the females uh, it's really up to you what you want to achieve and you can also mix uh, the males uh, together so maybe let's uh, Where's the males? Here they are. Let's give him a, a little bit of a male old two look. So just let's morph this in, and you have created a different looking character here with just a, a mouse click. So let me just apply this male old three head here to the male old one body shape and this is really it another different character and as you can see here this character has uh, really a long nose and for all of you who, who don't like this long noses I also created a nose adjustment slider which can be found in the head section here uh, nose took a motion and then you have photos for stylist females because two of the females have long noses it's female old 2 and female old 3 and they have a uh, female old 2 nose adjust slider and female old 3 nose adjust slider and the same goes for the males uh, or for this male 3 here you also have an adjustment slider and you can simply reduce the size or the length of his nose or increase the size um, or find a value between this so make it mid length or whatever you want to achieve for your character it's really easy and yeah I hope this uh, this helped a lot because I was I, I was thinking it, it's really uh, helpful this time to have this adjustment slider so just let me show you another thing by applying this female or three head here to the uh, let's say water body shape and maybe just reduce the nose again as you can see it works quite good as well and if you um, if we scroll out here a little bit you can really say yeah that's another male character that we have here maybe we just need to make some minor adjustments so first of all give him uh, base male uh, texture to make him 
look a little bit more male like and then let's just fix some head things here first of all we should give him a base male shape and then increase the scale a little bit more like so and maybe the neck length and yeah here it's also the lips I think can be a little bit fuller like so and then of course the eyes angle so let's bring them down a little bit and let's decrease the size and yeah so you have really created another male character with just a few adjustments so it's really easy and yeah a lot of possibilities now with this uh, separated head and body sliders uh, and it's really up to you how your character should look like so you can also um, apply any morph slider from the essential pack to further customize your character and yeah so let your imagination run wild let me show you another thing by or oh first of all let's get rid of all the current used sliders and then let me apply a female head again mm, using the female odd one so this slider I used for Emma so for the first uh, female character here but she can also be a, a male as you can see here so if we apply this body shape and then yeah, make some minor adjustments to the head so head scale I think will work and then bring down the neck a little bit and yeah so this is another different male, ca male character that we have now so maybe just give him another hairstyle like this come over here yeah, it looks quite nice I think and this is done by just a few clicks so maybe the eye or let's fix the head shape first oh, it looks quite good I think and then the eye angle mm. this I don't know, slash so this one yeah all right and yeah so another crumpy old male that we have created here and of course you you, c you cannot only mix and match the hats uh, you can also uh, combine the different body shapes so for for example let's apply the male old 2 body shape a little bit more to make him a little bit more stout and yeah looks quite nice I think So it's really easy and quick to create the characters you need and then just apply some other morphs from the essential pack or your own morphs to further customize the characters. It's really up to you and yeah. Alright, so let's move on. Um, I think I will show you just some of the projects I prepared for you so let me load in Emma here and as you can see I already applied the default dress to her um, I made some manual adjustments here as well as to the underwear she's wearing so on some body shapes you will need to manually adjust some of the cloth mesh meshes so but with the new release of, of character creator 1.5 this will become much easier to do because there are a lot of additional features included in this new version which make it easier to adjust cloth and for example also Walter has the default dress here the default shirt default jeans and boots but you can give him any kind of uh, cloth that you have in your library so let's give him another pair of trousers here and maybe 
some different shoes like the leather boots just one and then let's apply another jacket I think the business suit will look good alright yeah maybe we just need to conform this a little bit so first calculate collision and it will fit nearly perfectly to the character so we can do uh, give him another shirt of course but I think I will do an additional tutorial on how to customize your characters with cloth and, and hair and so on so watch out for this tutorial on, on my youtube channel but for now I think yeah that's it for this introduction so as you can see this new package is really versatile so you you get a lot of possibilities here to create your your very own unique characters with just a few clicks and just a few adjustments so i'm really proud of it and i hope you will like it as much as i do and yeah if you have any question feel free to ask i will try to get back to you as soon as possible um, yeah feel free to leave comments or like subscribe whatever you want um, have fun um, thanks for watching and happy creating